All right, welcome back to Mr. Jeffrey's math class. Today we are doing a review on inequalities, but before we get started, don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. We gotta get rid of this. Also, I have, uh, I don't know if we can see it, I do have a, a small sponsor. It says stop oxygen theft. Okay, so we're just going over some basic rules of inequalities. Kind of a little wrap up session. It's a Friday here in the great state of Alabama. All right, so we're gonna look for our variable. Okay, we're gonna look at what's being done to our variable. It's being multiplied. So we have to do the opposite and divide, okay? We're gonna end up with n and a positive three. Now, remember, if you multiply or divide by negative, that's like if you put something you don't like on your food, like sardines, mushrooms, uh, boogers, just whatever that you don't like uh, on there, and it flips it, it makes the alligator turn its head. It's like, I'm not going to eat that. Now, our graph right here, all right, we're going to have what type of circle, open or closed? Closed. Remember, a line up underneath it, it's closed. Remember, that's dating, that's included, okay? So it's a closed circle, okay? And then if you do your scribbling, it goes that way, or if you go up and over. Then the reason we're going to the left is because the variable is not being eaten by said alligator. Okay. Um, you know, um, so, um, you know, it's, I, I have students, but my teacher said to always shade the way this is pointing. And I understand that makes a lot of good sense, but that only works when the variable's on the left-hand side. All right. Are we okay with number one? Some people are like, wait, there was a number one? All right, so. <laughs> now. Now I'm not going to do it today. All right, number two. All right. We have an H. These two things are being added. Okay, so we have to do the opposite, which is what? Subtract. Yeah. And oh my goodness, there's a decimal in there. It's ferocious. Now, I'm leaving that, my inequality sign, as is because I did not multiply or divide by a negative. Okay. And no, Mr. Jeffers can't do math in his head, so I actually had to use a calculator. Okay. And a point six all right so you know when you're doing your number line you know you can do 8.6 i've had students do this before 8.5 8.7 i've had students they that they'll do um they'll write an eight over here and then they'll write a nine right here it's however you want to okay however you want to do that now we look at this on number two, open or closed circle. Closed, because there's a line up underneath it, that means dating. All right, what's being eaten? Is the number or the variable being eaten? The letter, if the letter's being eaten, which way that means that it's what? Yeah, it's going right, because whatever this is has to be greater than this. All right, so if you shade, or go up and over. Okay, you don't have to do both. I'm just showing both instances right now just to, you know, we're, we're warming up to it and things of that nature. Okay, now, three, number three. So, look right here. Here's my variable. One is being subtracted. So, what's the opposite of subtract? Add. All right. So we should, oh, I'm just making stray marks everywhere. And I know somebody's going to say, please erase that stray mark. Like their OCD is killing them, but right now it's okay. 
All right. So we have five. So four, five, six. Now, what type of circle are we going to have? Open. Which way are we going to go? Right. To the right. Exactly. We're going to go to the right because the variable is being eaten. That means it's greater than. And that's kind of how it goes from there. Okay. So now I tried to cover. I should have had another one that had a uh, look like a fraction where you had to multiply and stuff. But, you know, it's a Friday. We're just trying to make it through this hour and a half. We're here together and then move on and not think about math till Monday. Right myself included okay now unfortunately i don't get to do that because i have to like make a horrible sets of tests for y'all next week okay <laughs> now so kind of easy warm up to this some people did this you probably started feeling good then all of a sudden you got to part two and you're like what just happened okay all right <clears throat> Very typical thing that happens when students get to this part right here. They only see this part or this part, okay? They totally forget to solve the inequality if possible, okay? And honestly, it's nothing against you. That's actually how the brain works. It usually uh, resonates on the last thing that you uh, uh, take in, all right? But we need to go from here. Now, these are multi-step equations I tried, or inequalities. I tried to not put, I actually shortened some of them down from what I was going to use yesterday. Okay, some of them were like those gross, nasty things where you had distributives on both sides, and then you got to combine like terms on both sides, and then you got to do this, then you got to do that, and yeah, 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 yeah. like it would have went through all five of our steps, and then. I had multiple students in class tell me they would cry if they saw that on the test. And I said, I would probably cry putting that on the test. So I'm trying to stray away from that. So we're going to distribute. We get the multiply. We're going to say negative, oops, negative 6 plus 2K. All right. I know there's always somebody, 2K, it's a basketball game. All right. And we just kind of tag along the negative 5 and this other K. Now, technically, mathematically, you have four different ways to solve this. But I tried to lay down a foundation in, when we're doing equations that we're going to move the variables to one side. And we're going to move them to the left-hand side. Okay. Now, again, during the test, if you get stuck on that part, please ask. Just like the questions y'all were asking today while y'all were working on that, that should always happen. We should always be able to communicate to each other, okay? All right. If I have two Ks, I subtract one. I should just have a K. Negative five. All right. Now I need to move this minus six over here with its uh, like people the five the negative five so I'm gonna add six all right and I get k is greater than or equal to one now some people are like wait a minute that and that happened I told y'all it was gonna happen on the last test people would do this and you would have this answer then in the blank you would write IMS or no solution okay and that's I understand that's a typical thing Okay, but, you know, this actually did have a solution to it. Well, we could, I don't, basically, we can get the variable on one side with the coefficient of one and something else over here. Okay, all right, so one, zero, two, all right. Now, if you try to get, don't do not do this to try to get super fancy with your number lines. Don't put like 20 bajillion. Okay. Granted, your, your number line is right. But if you're focused on trying to be funny on your number line, 
and you totally screw up on the test, that's not worth it, okay? Um, no, that's not worth it, you know. Stay small. All right. Over to closed circle. Closed. What's being eaten? Yeah, the K. Going right. Very good. I heard good answers, different ways. I know. And I know some of y'all were doing this, and you read those directions, and you're like, okay, so is this IMS or no solution? Again, it's typical. It's all right. Listen, I'm half brain dead anyway today. I'm barely teaching the day, all, all day. I'm just kind of like, here, let's review, so I don't have to really think that much. Okay, I am so ready to go to bed already. Like, I'm planning a nap. I'm planning like a nap every day this weekend. Like, it, I've got it scheduled in my calendar. Okay. My luck, I'll plan a nap, and my, my wife's like, I need you to do this. And I'm like, oh. So, good thing she's pretty. Now, are we okay with number four now? Maybe. Hopefully, has anybody had a nightmare where you've been chased by like one of these big equations or inequality or like you're, it, you have? Oh, bless it. Now, it's, it's late August here. And, uh, you know, if you're looking for an inexpensive... Uh, Halloween costume, you know, just take one of these nasty looking formulas or uh, equations and, and tape it on you. What am I? A math problem. <gasps> They'll probably like drop all the candy in front of you and run back in the house, okay? <laughs> all right. I know I'm going to distribute on this side because I have the parentheses, okay? So I'm just going to leave what's on the left-hand side alone. Okay. And I'm going to distribute, well, 2 times x is 2x. And 2 times, you know, some people will put us a track. They'll put 6. Either way, it's going to look like this. Okay? All right. Yes, no, maybe, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, I did. Oh, you can't see from back there? Oh, my bad. Is that better? All right. We can see the sign now. All right. So, <laughs> that was a jerk move. <laughs> All right. Yeah, my handwriting is always, uh, you know, I feel so. If people are actually looking at these videos trying to learn, they're like, can we at least get him enough subscribers so he he can learn how to write better? I mean, it's it's like six different languages all in once trying to read my handwriting, I know. All right. <laughs> well, thank you. All right. So I've got to move this 2x over here with this 2x, okay? And this is a positive 2x, so I have to subtract. All right. Now, some of y'all might be, you might have saw that. You're like, wait a minute. Something weird's about to happen. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're in high school. Something weird's always about to happen. All right. Now, let me, let me tell you, I'm an adult. Something weird happens all the time. Now, is nine less than negative six? No. Okay, this would actually be no solution. And you you can't graph that. Um, now, I have had some people that they will do this just to make sure. And they'll actually make a number line so they can visually see it. Okay, I was working with the former student this week, uh, uh, working on some problems for the ASVAB that's coming up, and hang on, hands down, and um, it was a fraction thing, okay, 
And instead of like trying to change them to decimals or anything, they made like a circle and divided it up just to, and shaded in. And I was like, that's genius. All right. Uh, yes. Okay. Remember, these actually have four different ways to go. You could have added, you could have added six and then subtracted the two X. That's fine. Yes, sir. X went away. Okay. All right. Look, if I have two X's and I subtract two X's, how many X's do I have now? Okay, there. thank you. See, sometimes using Reese's math. Still looking for sponsors. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I don't know how to do that, so we'll see. All right, anyways, and that's the thing. Now, I will have students that they would have written this as 9 plus 0x less than negative 6, and then they still think that's a 1, okay? Hopefully, that is some, uh, I know, but if you're not confident in it and you don't understand and people never took the time to kind of like, you know, pat your pat you on the back a little bit, or say it's okay. You know, we we'll get through this. Uh, you know, we'll go from there. All right. Number six, number six, and number five look very familiar. Very, the, the, the speaking is hard, similar and familiar. It's probably because I just copied and pasted and changed the numbers to make it do like I wanted to do. All right. <laughs> And I wasn't trying to get very, you know, fancy with it or anything. I was just kind of being a little basic, but intentional. All right. So this is set up the same way. So I'm going to leave this alone. All right. 3 times x is 3x. All right. 3 times 4 is 12. Okay, so now we have get to this step and we kind of need to look at it. All right, now granted, some people are going to add the 2x and subtract, the, add the 2, subtract the 3x or whatever. It's, remember, there's four different ways, but that's what I've tried to get people to do one way. All right, and we're going to subtract 3x from both sides. Yes. Say again. Okay. On our, do you remember our steps that we had to do on those multiple step equations? Distribute, combine like terms. Okay. So the reason we wouldn't divide, and I'm not doing this like I have before, is have this, our highlighter, I've got to get this over here. So I got to get them together. It's like I'm hurting my variables to one side and I'm hurting my, constants to the other okay all right now is negative 2 less than 12 yeah yeah it is so this would actually be ims okay and if you want to do this for fun because technically this is what the graph of this would look like is this infinitely many solutions yeah uh, it's a lot easier. Having people do IMS is a lot easier than having people try to write the infinity sign. You know, we say it's easier just to turn your paper sideways, write an 8, and then turn it back. And some people are like, I can't do that. Yeah, I have some people say that's just too much work. And, you know, I don't... Yeah, so it's okay. You know, sometimes you get more flies with honey than you do with cow poop. I mean, I'm not going to make my own study where I have like a time lapse video on both of them to see what happens. All right. Yeah, it probably would get me a lot of views. On that. All right. Yeah. All right. So. These are our compound inequalities. 
Okay, compound meaning two. All right, so now this is where I did this the other day. Okay, that way I can kind of look at the middle. All right, remember, these are like our sandwiches, okay? Has anybody had sandwiches since we talked about this the other day? Yeah, I, I had sandwiches for supper like two like uh, two days in a row after I said sandwiches. And I was like, hey, I talked about this in math today. Now, so D and 1 are being added together. So what is the opposite of adding 1? Okay, now, remember, if we do it in the middle, we have to do it to all the other side. Okay, we got to be fair. Everybody gets to have one finger cut off. Okay, so there's no more high fives. There's just people going down the hall, high fours to everybody. Okay, now, that's that's very disturbing. I can't believe I came up with that in my head. All right, so, and then, you know, negative two minus one gives us negative three, and then four minus one is three. All right, so. We're done, all right, which I know some people are like, it, it should be harder. Well, I could make it really, really difficult, but I try not to, okay? And some people actually like to see it the more difficult way. It makes more sense to them, and that's okay. We still love them, okay? We just may not agree with them. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put zero in here because some people are used to seeing zero in math. All right, what type of circle is going to be on negative three? Closed, because it's got that alligator head's got a line up underneath it. What about on three? Open, very good. And You know, some people think I actually have a button to make all these sound effects. No, these are straight from me. You can't tell because I got my mask on, but it's straight from me. You're like, that guy grew up without cable TV. That's why he knew how to make all these signs. Okay. It's kind of like somebody I saw, uh, they were telling me, they said, yeah, my kid asked me why there's numbers on the remote for the TV. We're like, usually back in the day, before all these streaming services, you would actually watch channels on the TV. And that, like they said, it like messed up their whole day. Like they just couldn't understand like there were multiple channels. Yeah, it was funny. All right. Now, this is one of the or ones. And earlier this week when we were doing this, we would take and kind of divide these up just as a, hey, you, these are not the same as the sandwiches, okay? This is like a, a soup and salad or something. I don't know. They're just, they're just different. All right. And I really tried to make these very different, as you can tell. But, you know, over here, here's my variable. It's being multiplied. I'm going to have to divide. Now, I don't go past that big red line. <laughs> okay, because that's another problem. And then I get Y is less than or equal to negative 2. Now, I could go ahead and write that right here. There's nothing that says I couldn't. And I could also go ahead and graph that. And I know it's going to be a closed circle. Yeah, yeah, and then it goes up and over from there. All right, so I've got the left-hand side done, you know, did my steps. Okay, making my way downtown. Y'all don't know that song? Getting fast, picking up trash, it's on the ground now. I don't, I have no idea what they say after that. I, I've never been very good at understanding the lyrics. Yep, so we divided by three. Y is greater than or equal to five. 
Now, if you don't write the or there, uh, I'm not really going, again, I'm not going to be that persnickety. I may kind of give you a note because on something that you might see on a standardized test, you would actually see the actual or uh, in there somewhere. And, uh, you know, if you forget to put an extra, as long as you don't like really mess up your number line, uh, I'm going to try not to count off. You know, I may make fun of you. Like, what universe did you get this number line? Yes. Uh, yes, pre-ACT is coming up. Uh, I don't know if it's, I think it's, I don't know if it's in October. I forgot. It's a, it's a pre-ACT. It's a free test. It's just to see what you would actually score if you took the ACT now. Yes. You, okay. Show them to me later. Okay. We got a couple more problems. Yes. All right. Now we're looking at number nine. We saw some problems like this earlier this week, but we probably all forgot them because, you know, it's Friday and it's been, it's been one of those weeks. Okay. What do we notice about number nine that's different than what we saw from number eight? There's no or, or number seven. Yeah. Look at the alligator heads. They're all facing this way. And we're used to them facing, hang on, hang on. I've got to do, my hands are backwards, okay? It's, this is weird. All right. So, and if we see them opening up to our left, you know, if they're opening up this way, then we know that we're going to end up mul multiplying or dividing by a negative. Yep, we got to divide everything, everything, la di da -di, everybody, however you want to say it. Now, I know I'm going to have a 6 right here. I'm going to have an 8 right here. I'm going to have an X in the middle because it's an X sandwich. And I'm going to turn, look, it's kind of like that song. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit lonely and I don't know the rest of the word turn around. Okay. Never like a pot of cake and give it a spark. You know you've really exceeded as a parent when your offspring hears the first little bit of that song and they're like, change it. Because they know that you're about, they're about to be front row for the concert you're about to put on. All right. And this. Okay. Anybody ever been riding with an adult and all of a sudden you're front row, front row seat to their concert that they're putting on? Huh? Oh. Oh, just take the ops court. Yeah. Ah. Oh. There's no changing it. Oh, man. Hey, not only have I had my own dance, my own concert in my vehicle, but I've actually had like dance moves also, as much as a Caucasian man can dance. Okay. So, um, you know, I. <laughs> I don't know if I told y'all, at one point in time, I had to used to leave early and go down to Tuscaloosa for grad school once a month, and I would be going through Birmingham, and they had really good stations in Birmingham that actually play, like, really good music, and I would be sitting there in my car, like, dancing, and I looked up, and there's like, a whole busload full of kids, like, cracking up and taking pictures of me, and I'm like, you know. I did. Yeah, it's okay. There, we've added so many new people. Nobody has heard that one before, so it's all right. Yeah. Uh, my taste in music ranges from anything from Johnny Cash to, uh, to no, it, it's everywhere. Like, uh, I don't know. I like, I listen to Luda. I like Luda. I like Snoop. Um, 
I mean, I, I have no idea. Uh, believe it or not, I'm actually one of one of the very few people that actually do kind of like Nickelback. All right, so uh, it's something when you pay people too much money. But <laughs> now, this one we hadn't had a problem like this. This is actually I'm giving you a graph and seeing if you could go backwards and give me the answer. All right, so and. If we look at it, let's approach it one piece at a time. Let's look over here. I'm going to use just X because it's an easy one. Okay. Now, it's going to the left. And here's negative 4. So what should be eaten? Should it be the X or the negative 4? The negative 4. Yeah, that's right. Remember, it goes to the left when the number's being eaten. Okay. Now, there is an or in here. And if you forget to write the or again, I'm not going to destroy you or anything. All right, I've got an X and a 2 right here. All right, what type of circle is that on the 2? Closed, very good. All right, I didn't know if somebody was saying closed circle or I was, I was about to get decked, so, you know, whatever. All right, and it's going to the right, so that means the X is being eaten, okay? And that's, that's really, basically, it's the opposite of, you know, I, I haven't decided if I want to put one of these on the test or not. I just kind of, <laughs> I'm seeing lots of head shakes and no. Uh, but just to see, I just wanted to kind of throw that out there to see uh, if people could do it or not. Um, it's a good talking point. So y'all want 18 of these on the test, right? No. <laughs> All right. So. Yeah, it's a little different. It depends on how you operate and how you think. If you if you see that number line and you some people are like, I, first they'll stop. They'll be like, I've never seen this before. What what the French toast? I mean, I don't know. So, uh, you know, you forget of what those big bolded words are asking right before that. Okay. Those are called directions. All right. Now, this is piggybacking off what we had yesterday. All right. First thing we do is pull out the what? The guts. All right. We have a what version? Who remembers? Uh, you're getting... We have the good one, the one that's given, and the bizarro or the evil one, which not only flips this alligator head, but makes us a negative, okay? And again, I could go into a long, long, long reason why this is. No, it doesn't. No, we basically take this and multiply it by negative one. We did see uh, instances yesterday. Now. We're going to solve. I can subtract x over here. Okay. And I get x is greater than 6. Okay. And then over here. I get x is less than negative 18. Now, as far as the order if you were to actually give me x greater than 6 or x less than negative 18, if you do that, I'm, I'm not going to count off, okay? You're actually giving me the answer, okay, just as it's written. That's fine. But, uh, and I hadn't really went over that your uh, x marks the spot. Okay, we're digging for treasure. Now, I hadn't really went over that your inequality should match your, um, um graph so that's totally okay all right and it, again if you forget to put the or that's, just just solve it solve it and graph it okay don't 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 get caught up in the details okay don't get caught up in the details and again i don't have to make these very difficult i can just do them you know, this, this was 
both of these are you know one step things but i uh bless you i i kind of just want y'all to uh get the basis of this um as we move forward all right good and let's look at this one all right first step pull out the guts We have one that's given and one where we flip the sign and multiply it by a negative or the opposite evil twin, <sighs> however you see fit. And we're going to divide by seven X is less than or equal to 7. X is greater than or equal to negative 7. All right. Now. Hang on. Blue, blue, blue. All right. So, you know, negative 7, 7, closed, closed. Blue, 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 blue. All right. You can write it as it's written right here, or, you know, if you want to double check as you're doing the test, either way is fine. I'm not, you know, super mad about that. Um, all right, before we go, I want to thank all of our subscribers. Remember to stop oxygen theft and tune back in next time. Good stuff. Good things. Roll tight.